Hi everyone, my name is Katie McClure. Um, I am an instructor at Marquee and have been a member uh, of Marquee Theatrical Productions since I was, I don't know the year, but I was a pop. I was in my late teens um, and it was, we did Les Mis and a chorus line in concert. It was my first, so that tells you how long ago it was. It was a long time ago. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about um, what Marquee means to me or has meant to me. And having been involved with them for so long, they've meant different things for me at different stages of my life. When I was a teen, um, it was a place where I found kind of like-minded um, individuals, other kids like me who were into theater. Um, and it was that uh, place where I went that kept me out of trouble. <laughs> like, you know, you can't get in trouble if you're at rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> uh, so as a teen, that was, that was, that was it for me. And, and, you know, I made some amazing friends that I still uh, am friends with. And um, as I got older and had a family, it then was that thing that I did for me. It was my place where, you know, I could have a night uh, or a couple of nights a week that I left the house and, and, you know, got to interact with adults and like be around other moms. And, and it was my socializing time. Um, and now uh, that I actually am, am an instructor there, it has been this incredible place where I get to create and I get to have this outlet for all of the artistic stuff that's always that's always been there that has bubbled up in different ways um, in my life. So I've stepped away from the performing side of it um, and now facilitate their Broadway Babies program and um, Rock of Ages and teach ballet. And it's been like this wonderful place where I get to go to um, and create these magical experiences. Um, I choreographed Matilda and I there were so many times that I was moved to tears just from happiness uh, that it's actually it's crazy to think that it that this is the place where I work because it happens so much um, and now so ever since we've been kind of in self-isolation their role in my life has really gone up in, a, in an astronomical way um, mainly because like they're the way that I've stayed that I stay connected to people um, you know, we were doing our Broadway baby. We had did a Broadway babies live stream today, actually this morning. So I am very bright. <laughs> um, but you know, like getting to go and, and connect to people virtually and them giving me an outlet to continue to kind of, um, have musicals in my life and, and all of that. It honestly, it, it's been incredible and it's been such a lifesaver. Um, so this song that I would like to sing for you really is about my, my need for musical theater, for Broadway, for all of the things that Marquis brings into my life, all the musical elements that come into my life, music and dance and all of that, because I really, I, I'm so grateful for it and, and I, love that we still get to do it in such a big way and that it's kind of still in my life. Um, so this is Never Enough from The Greatest Showman. And really it's dedicated to you, Cheryl Thomas. It's, it's, it's never enough for me. Like I, I want it all the time, all the time. Keep throwing it at me because I love it. I'm, I'm hooked. Um, it's such an awesome part of my life. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. I thank Marquis for letting me do what I love to do and for giving me an outlet for it. So thank you. Trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me, getting louder now. Can you? Share this with me, cause I 
been without you. All the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars.